We're going to show you a side of the Milford Sound Road you've never seen. Since the pandemic hit, I've been lucky enough to travel to every single region in New Zealand. And there's a question I get asked quite often. It's what is your favourite road trip? Well, I'm about to show you. It's the road into Milford Sound. But you're going to see this one very differently. We've been given rare permission by the Department of Conservation to fly a drone in Fiordland National Park. And you're going to see the bird's eye view. This is the route we'll take along State Highway 94 all the way to Milford. It's the only way to get there if you're getting in by road. And the scenery changes as soon as you enter Fiordland National Park. The first major stop is what's called Eglinton Valley, which was carved by an ancient glacier, followed a few minutes later by the Mirror Lakes, which, if the weather is clear and the wind is calm, provides a perfect reflection. Don't miss this stop, the Lake Gun Nature Walk. The forest is Jurassic and looks like dinosaurs should be popping out. If you've got time and the weather is clear, this next walk is also unmissable. It's the two to three hour return trek to Key Summit, and these are the kinds of views that are waiting for you. The next stop is a bit of a hidden gem. The Lake Marion Falls track is just 10 minutes for a spectacular view. And the Homer Tunnel is your next major sight along the road. And what a sight, driving straight through a mountain range and a lot of people get a little surprised by the unlined rocky appearance inside the 1.2 km tunnel. From there you follow this winding valley until you reach the magnificent Milford Sound. I'd highly recommend staying the night at the amazing Milford Sound Lodge, which means you wake up and have breakfast with this view and you can even go kayaking, which I think is one of the best ways to see Milford its mountains, waterfalls, and even get up close with the wildlife.